In this Blender and 3D printing tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import a structured light scan from an Artec Leo scanner. Artec Leo structured light scanners take high resolution 3D scans with textures of objects. These have a lot of detail that needs to be cleaned up if you want to use it for 3D printing and 3D modeling and other programs such as Blender and Fusion 360. First, we're going to use Blender to import the OBJ that's exported from the Artec Leo structured light scanner. We'll scale it appropriately, then clean up the mesh a little bit before preparing to remesh it for export and then final import into Fusion 360 so we can use parametric tools with it. Let's get started. File, Import, OBJ. Navigate to where your OBJ is and then import it. The OBJ files from the Artec Leo scanner are going to come in huge when they enter Blender because it can scan up to 0.1 millimeters of accuracy and Blender's default unit is a meter. The best way to scale it is to select the mesh. You can see it as Sharp Fusion 1 right here. Then press S to scale and type 0 0.001. If I press N to look at the item properties, you'll notice that the scale in all directions is 0 0.001. Inside the default cube of two meters, this looks about right. It's about the size that a human head would be if you can imagine that people could be up to two meters tall. You can hide the default cube for now and label the first mesh that you've imported 3D scan or head or body or whatever it is. Next, we're going to change the orientation of this. The best way to orient the 3D scan is to click in the cardinal directions, first X, then press R. Rotate it just in a general shape. Click on Z. Now we're gonna rotate it by pressing R and rotate it in the Z axis. Perhaps we'll move it over just a little bit. Then we'll look at the Y direction, move it into the center. Once more in the X direction, you can always double check in your camera to see how the default camera and the object is lining up. I'll click Object, Set Origin, Origin to Geometry, G, Z to move it up in the Z axis. And this is okay for me to start cleaning up the mesh because it's oriented. The first thing to do before you do anything else, select the mesh, press Control A, and All Transforms. This way that applies it. If you forget to do this and your scale is not at one, when you try to remesh, especially with the Quadraflow remesh in Blender, you may have a lot of problems and your computer will crash. The next thing to do is save your project. I'll save this as head scan cleanup. Once you've saved your project, we want to duplicate this head scan because once we start sculpting or moving around the polygons, all the texture information will be gone. The Artex scanner comes in with this great texture information. If I click on material preview, you'll see this glossy texture. That's because the incident of refraction is high. If I click on the materials of this object, and I change the IOR to one, suddenly the textures look much better. But we'll lose all this texture data once we start remeshing everything. So it's best to go ahead and duplicate this object. So select the head scan and press Shift D. If you accidentally move it while you're duplicating it, just press Escape and it'll go right back to where it is and you can see the duplicate here. Create a collection, call this original. We can move the original head scan into that collection, we'll hide that collection. It's important not to move any of the objects because if you want to bake your textures or reapply the textures later, it won't work. I'll switch back to viewport shading so we can focus on the form. Selecting the object and tabbing into edit mode will show that this is made up of a bunch of triangles. There's nothing particularly wrong with this because it has a lot of detail, but there's lots of things we want to clean up. For example, 3D scans, especially from structured light scanners, sometimes have these mesh reconstruction errors. So we want to eliminate all of these errors, come around to the shoulder. Lots of these can be eliminated too. There are many ways to do that. And I'll show you how to clean up this mesh. And we have our file backed up. And then the next video, we'll talk about how to clean up this mesh and get it ready for remeshing and export into Fusion 360. Happy 3D modeling.